up on the program. The LVI Art Gallery and Cultural Nexus gives lovers a double dose of art and act as it finds a way to stay active by sharing knowledge using social media during the coronavirus pandemic. And talking about socials, we have loads of works of art and videos that you sent in online. I see all your comments and requests when you tag at Channels Television and at Melinda Akinami. Responding to the question I asked you on the last episode about your inspiration. And I appreciate that and encourage you to keep them coming. I'll share them pretty soon. Great to have you join us on the show. In our spoken word segment, this poet is asking everyone to try to win this health challenge together. So all hands on deck. Our spoken word today is titled Facing a Faceless Enemy by Paulette Odu. Angered, she sits on her hunches, brushing her matted fur and counting down. Is this what life really is? Is this all we have together? Why can't we settle down? Why can't we have what we desire? I wonder where peace went. Still counting, days, minutes, seconds until she ventures outside. Everything is rather ripe, backward, slow, killing dreams of the student's stunting blooms, growing more tempting by the hour as the sun rays move, intimately familiar with the light ahead and visions ahead, even more hardship with the loss of the jobs, difficult being a young female graduate. The journey we would have taken is going down, little by little. Artworks used to express feelings lost, staring at a piece of a portrait with brushes, watching my palette, thinking of patients lost, who seem to be waiting not far. Art has given me a whole new purpose, one filled with fulfillment, where I can channel all the negativity around me and turn it to something educating and beautiful. It should all end, so my dreams would be fulfilled, my calling I still choose to obey. The distrusting God isn't in me. Someday everything would be fine. I am an artist. My shoes still fit perfectly. I will never rest. I am a warrior. We must win COVID-19 together. Indeed, we will. God helping us. Now to our first feature. An online art class is what LVI Art Gallery and Cultural Nexus decided to gift their viewers since they can't all come into the gallery during this period. At least they can enjoy some good works and learn some moves. It's one of the few galleries that have opened its doors after the COVID-19 lockdown was eased and for a good reason too. The founder is celebrating and has decided to do something for those who have kept faith with LVI Art Gallery and Cultural Nexus. I did some things for my uh, viewers uh, and our followers on social media. We did a an online dance class. So equally to the online medium is greatly used to keep the artists busy. Nigerian dance is a contemporary culture, so we are promoting our dance, which is very popular worldwide. But although it is popular, we have to document it, we have to learn it, and we have to trade it. So how do we document it? Digital capturing of the dance classes is documenting it. Or posterity. Then two, as you dance, you have to teach people these steps. Um, our creative artists, they are ingenious in creating many dance steps. So we've, we've had a lot of, lots of dance steps. So, and um, culture is a way of life of a people. Dance is a form of culture, and we are promoting contemporary modern, we call it urban Nigeria dance. So it is part of our promotion for Nigeria art and culture. So it's visual arts and dance being served today. Okay, now we're going to be doing the double side step together. Double side step for the male, for the male back is one, two. First stop, 
is a contemporary dance class which features two of the gallery's choreographers teaching urban Nigeria moves and Afro-Cuban salsa. We did salsa today, and we also did urban Ninja. Well, the first one we did was urban Ninja, and urban Ninja was is actually originated from Nigeria. This is our own style of dance. We actually create it. We have different instructors that actually create most of those movements. Many choreographers actually did it, and the other one is salsa. Uh, salsa from the history backward we, we realized that salsa was actually originated from Africa here during the slave trade and we but it had, uh, also had strong roots in, in London For the gallery, it's more than an opportunity to grab the attention of the teeming viewers who have joined the online live streaming session. My main aim is to teach people how to dance and how to be better in their field. It might be different dance styles or different genre of dance, but my aim is to teach you the, the right thing at the right time and also for, 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 the, for the audience to actually enjoy what we're doing. <laughs> While the visual art class is to show that art can be taught beyond those who are gifted. I have decided to do this online because, you know, like what is going on around us everywhere in the world right now, the social distance of a thing, and I strongly just believe that the, the social distance should not take us away from our values and what we are and, um, as, as human. So I have decided to use the, the, the media, that's, um, the social media, to the social media platform to explain and to teach other people who are actually interested in art that art could be learned. Art is not just a gift, it could be learned. And when you practice, you become perfect. Take time as an artist or as who is inspiring to be an artist in future to keep practicing. <laughs> And while they navigate the murky waters of the COVID-19 era, the founder tells us how the gallery coped during the lockdown. Thanks to the quality of works, they didn't have to break a sweat. Definitely we had a period of inactivity where we had a total shutdown, where there was no movement. Uh, we are not really worried because of the quality of the works, but we only had the challenges of sales. But I was particular about my, my flowers, we had some flowers that we were indoors, but before, the, before we went home, I told the staff to put it outdoors, and we had the rains that kept the uh, flowers um, going because of water. 
so it was good. So, but uh, equally to we had all our works in digital forms. So although we are home, we are just busy on the social media, uploading some of our pictures to our many viewers on our Instagram page. Double size stuff for the men, for the male parties. One, two, three, close. Five, six, seven. And look, most people like this movement. So but going forward, new ideas abound, and, so and it's technology. I guess it's a nice way of helping the audience relax, especially this time. And it's good to see a gallery trying to find ways to navigate this COVID-19 period. Try to find your happy and do what lifts your spirit. And these are the works of art that made the cut for this week. So artists are telling everyone that they need to calm down and do things that really make them feel good, especially during this period, because we know that art has the ability to heal and soothe the mind. So let's begin with this work done by Praise. It's done with oil on canvas. She says, women, don't worry. Alao Richard has this one called Monami. It's a charcoal pencil and dust on pelican paper work. Shay believes that beauty wears a smile. It's done with charcoal and graphite on Shatmore. Then this hyper-realistic drawing of the artist called The Weekend is done by Abba J.Y. Adams. Then Damilaria Jose has Smile, a charcoal and pencil drawing. Jeremiah is asking everyone to find their happy with this pencil work. Then Kelvin Okafor is saying that extra is needed, especially this time, so we should try to be nice. He says it with this pencil drawing. Shedu Zoma is giving us this warm gaze with this acrylic on canvas piece. Then this pencil drawing by David is called All You Need. It's probably a laughter or a smile or just do something that makes you happy. Then finally, Zubar Ismail is saying not to worry. Things will fall in place eventually. This too shall pass. Those are the works you sent in this week. We do encourage you to keep them coming. Lovely works there. Artists are using their images to push for change and will be enjoying some more when Art House returns in a moment. Join us again. I've been using my work to show that everything should be based on our culture for it to serve us. The art that we create is helping to give our people self-identity. We have featured many artists on this show and this COVID-19 era gave us the opportunity to scout for new names online. Creatives with new ideas and concepts who rely heavily on social media to get their message out there. 
forced to fill in bigger shoes right from the tender age of three. A constant victim of sexual abuse. I long for the day when I will be free. Barefed in a society that prefers a son. Discriminated against from the day I was born. I follow where traditions I can't refuse. Stifle my thoughts and swallow my views. It is a waste of fees sending me to school. I can never do as I please. I'm no better than a fool. My only thing of pride is in how soon I become a bride. Even then, it's no longer news that I'm still a victim of violence and abuse. No matter how severe, they say I dare not tell. If I don't endure, my abode will be hell. With each rising sun, away I fade. When will you rise, O oh compatriots, and come to my aid? You wait till I'm killed, you're always late. And then you say it was simply my fate. Olemi. Hello everyone, my name is Victor Akman. I'm a painter. I paint with both oil medium, acrylic and water color. I'm a Nigerian from Akwaibum State and currently I work and reside here in Lagos State. Watercolor was my first attempt to try a new medium in painting and I end up liking watercolor and discover it has a way of connecting me with art. I believe my personal style has great influence from the American watercolorist uh, Timothy J. Clark and uh, the renowned Nigerian watercolorist Sam of Writing. My watercolor paintings reflect who I am. So when you see some of my watercolor paintings, you see me in it. This is a reflection of who I am. You see the whole of me in my work. I mean, my paintings are of subtle na nature. I manage joy, peace, a vibrant spirit and a calm atmosphere. This particular one is uh, what I'm displaying right now. This is how I do mine. I don't know about others, but this is the way I make my watercolor painting. From the beginning stage, I make a drawing, a pencil sketch first of what I want. Then I apply my colors. And this is just the way I do them. Watercolor has a effect of layers. Uh, why painting you lay colors on each other because of its transparent nature uh, the colors you lay reflect itself underneath uh, a new color which is laid on it it's uh, it's quite fun using watercolor it can be over emphasized there is just so much joy i derive from using this medium short clip of my wall mural design done in the video camp you all know where that is started yesterday and think finishing touch to the beautiful work hope you like it
this pandemic has really taught people to think out of the box. What has this period taught you? Share it with us on any of our social media platforms. Talking about ingenuity, this is how artists are keeping their audience entertained and enlightened now that COVID-19 happened. Coming up on Art House, several performances at the Artist Village in Abuja, from dance to drama. The woman has every point of hope to play not just as a farmer, but the owner of the farm. See all the twists and turns when you tune in next time. Your art house experience doesn't have to end when the show's not on television. Interact with us on any of our social media platforms. See any edition of Art House on Channels TV's YouTube page. Send your works of art to Art House on Channels Television by joining the group on Facebook. We are everywhere. I just love the way people are trying to adapt to the new norm and creatively too. You know, I've been wondering how thespians will cope during this time. Nice to see the drive-in theatre is putting that to rest. It's just left for the audience to calmly observe, yes, enjoy the drama, but from your vehicles, still observing the COVID-19 protocols until the storm is over. That's At House this week. Join me next time for another interesting episode. Till then, stay safe and stay creative.